moving on to eighth question in right triangle abc right angle hc m is the midpoint of hypotenuse ab and c is joined to m and produce it to point d such that dm is equal to cm point d is joined to point b then show that in the first question triangle amc is congruent to triangle bmd in the second part angle dbc is right angle and in third question triangle dbc is congruent to triangle acb and fourth question cm is equal to half times ab now moving on to solution let us note only given information that is he has given a right angle triangle abc which is right angle at c so now we can write angle acb is equal to 90 degrees and he says m is the midpoint of hypotenuse ab so we can say that am will be equal to bm as m is the midpoint of ab and he says d is a point such that bm is equal to cm let us note down that dm is equal to cm in the first question he asked us to prove the congruency of triangles triangle amc and triangle bmd now let us know the similarities in triangle amc and triangle bmd now considering the figure if we see triangle amc and triangle bmd let us note down the common similarities between them bm is equal to am since he has given in the question that m is midpoint of hypotenuse ab and second thing he has also given that cm is equal to dm now if we consider at point m angle dmb and angle amc are both vertically opposite angles we know that vertically opposite angles are equal so we can write angle amc is equal to angle bmd as they are vertically opposite angles now according to side angle side property triangle amc is congruent to triangle bmd which is our first proof required in the first part of the proof we got that triangle amc is congruent to triangle bmd now if when two triangles are congruent we can say the corresponding sides and corresponding angles will be equal now if we consider in triangle bmd and triangle amc we can say angle dbc angle dbm and angle mac will be equal as they are corresponding angles that is we can write that angle dbm is equal to angle mac now if we clearly observe the angles the two angles are lying alternate interiorly to the lines ac and bd and ab as transversal so we can say that line segment ac is parallel to bd now let us prove the second proof now to sec prove the second one let us consider that ac is parallel to bd and now bc is transversal if we consider ab is ac is parallel to bd 
and BC as transversal, angle ACD and angle DBC become the angles lying on the same side of the transversal. We know that sum of angles lying on the same side of transversal is equal to 180 degrees. We can write angle ACB plus angle DBC is equal to 180 degrees which implies he has given that angle ACB is equal to 90 degrees as in the first statement he has given in right triangle ABC right angle at C therefore angle ACB is 90 degrees plus angle DBC is equal to 180 degrees which implies angle DBC is equal to on transposing 90 to right hand side that becomes 180 degrees minus 90 degrees which is equal to 90 degrees so we got angle DBC is equal to 90 degrees which is our second proof now in order to prove the third proof that is triangle DBC is congruent to triangle ACB let us consider both the triangles triangle DBC and triangle ACB in this let us note down the similarities first of all BC will be the common base for both the triangles second thing angle DBC is equal to angle ACB which is equal to 90 degrees and third thing if we consider AC will be equal to BD since in the first proof we have proved that triangle AMC is congruent to triangle BMD and from that congruency if we consider that corresponding sides are equal AC and BD are corresponding sides so we can write AC will be equal to BD since from first proof now in this side angle side of both the triangles are equal correspondingly so we can say that triangle ACB is congruent to triangle DBC so from SAS property both the triangles triangle ACB is congruent to triangle DBC now we got that triangle DBC is congruent to triangle ACB now we know that when two triangles are congruent then their corresponding sides and corresponding angles will be equal therefore now the corresponding side in ACB let us consider as AB then side corresponding to it in triangle DBC will be CD so now we can equate AB is equal to CD which implies AB is equal to now we know that M is the midpoint of CD line segment so we can write CD as 2 times CM now in order to get CM we need to transpose 2 to left hand side thereby we get CM is equal to half times AB which is the required proof